All right, so I had a question about myasthenic crisis. And so what I like to do for that particular uh, condition is to use word association. So myasthenia gravis, the condition, we should know that, right? That's when you have excessive muscle weakness because of autoimmune issues that they destroy the receptor sites where acetylcholine is supposed to latch on the various muscles and other glands, right? So when you have a myasthenic crisis, that just means the signs and symptoms get worse. They exacerbate. So primarily, you're going to have, of course, increased muscular weakness, but you're also going to have respiratory compromise. Once the intercostal muscles or the diaphragm or the nerves, like the phrenic nerve that conducts impulses from the brain to the, to, from the nervous system to the diaphragm, once those areas start becoming affected, now this is your myasthenic crisis. The patient won't be able to breathe. They need intubation. We can also give them certain medications like um, acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. We can give them um, your... What's another medication? Oh, you can do like plasmapheresis, where I mentioned earlier that you remove the blood. Uh, you do a blood draw, but essentially they're pulling out only the out of antibodies found in the plasma. Um, and you can give things like neostigmine, which is another medication that we give for these patients. So the biggest concern in myasthenia crisis is respiratory support. And that's how you know the patient's uh, developing that. Oh, and one more thing. The patient, before they actually have the respiratory compromise, they're going to have a hard time with swallowing. They'll have dysphagia, probably have a lot of drooling. They'll, have, they'll sound stuffy, like they're, 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 uh, the voice won't resonate as well because the muscles all throughout the cephalic area are weakened.